All right, you guys, let's tackle example eight. Let's do this thing. All right, so like I said before, example eight is pretty much the same thing as example seven. So if you want to try it on your own, go for it. All right, so again, we're still using the same property, which states that if two tangent lines or segment or segments, really, if two tangent segments intersect in the same external point, then that means the segments have to be congruent. So let's get going. All right, so I'm going to start by labeling my picture. Okay, so AG is 15. So A to the G, which is right here, is 15. So this whole thing is 15. All right, G to the E is 16. So this whole thing is 16. All righty, D to the E is 6. And A to the C is 20. Okay. All right, so we need to find the lengths of all these different pieces. So let's see, did I miss anything? So let's see here, AG is 15, okay, and then GE is 16, and then DE is 6. Okay, yeah, yeah, we have enough information, just making sure. All right, so let's get going. So again, I'm going to label all the congruent pieces because there's a bunch of them. So anywhere that you spot two tangent segments that come from the same external point, they're congruent. So that means these two are congruent, these two are congruent, these two are congruent, and these two are congruent. Oh man, so these two pieces, BC is congruent to DC, DE is congruent to FE, GF is congruent to GH, and AH is congruent to AB. All right, so let's see if any of this will help us, which are really close. We're so close to finding the perimeter, except we're missing this piece. We have everything else, which currently, if I look at this side, nothing's going to help me. Okay, but I do know that this is 6, so maybe I can use this to help me get to that. Let's see. Let's see what will happen. So if that's 6, that means that this piece is 6. Okay, which if G E is 16 and this piece is 6, 6 plus what will give me 16? That would be a 10. Nice. All right, and then since this is 10, that is 10. And since the whole thing is 15, if that's 10, 10 plus what will give me 15? It is a 5. So that's 5, which means this piece is 5. Sorry, no, you can't really see when I write it. Okay, and the whole thing's 20, so if that is 5, 5 plus what gives me 20? Oh man, you guys are pretty much Albert Einstein. You're so smart. All right, so that's 15. <gasps> which, guess what, you guys? Since that's 15, it means this piece is 15, which means the whole length of this segment is going to be 15 plus 6, which gives me a 21. <gasps> So guess what, you guys, the last step is that up all the sides of my quadrilateral, then bam, I'm going to have the perimeter. Let's get going, you guys. All right, so the perimeter, I'm simply going to add up all my sides. So I'm going to add 16 to 15 to 20 to 21, and then I'll know all my side lengths added up. So we have 16 plus 15 plus 20 plus 21. Let's get going. All right, 16 and 15 will give me a 31, plus 20 and 21 will give me a 41. And 31 plus 41 will give me 72. So my perimeter equals 72. And usually with perimeter, we do write units since it's a unit of measure. Um, so 72 units since I don't have any units labeled. And guess what, you guys? That problem's done. Look at that. Awesome job, you guys.